Hello, and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. I hope you're doing good today. Many of you might have already have seen my video about how to transfer things onto wood. I've received several questions about it. One of the biggest questions that I get about transferring prints onto surfaces is about can I do it on stained wood, on painted wood? How about can I do it on tile or stone or metal? You can do it on pretty much anything that you want to do. I hope that you might be sitting down because you might get excited when you see the possibilities. You already know that you can do it on wood. Here go a piece I got from the graphicsfairy.com and it's a pretty little picture. I thought it would make a good little scene to put on this piece of wood. And absolutely you can apply your images onto stained or painted wood. Craftsman, can you put your print onto metal? Tell me that you can't do it. What about glass? Look at this. Craftsman, what about plastic? Can I be uh put my image on the plastic? Yes, you can. Look at this example. Look at him jumping. Hello. The whole reason why label release paper works so good is because the toner comes off of the surface real, real easy. That's why if you get some smudgy looking prints that comes off looking galushy, then what you need to do is probably adjust your settings on your printer. The first time I printed, it came off looking like whoop de doo And so I went up in it and I said, drop down, click settings, drop down, change it to paper type, heavy photo gloss. It was like my printer said, look, y'all, let's be careful with this one. That seems to give me the best results. And listen, if the label release paper do not work for you, then you can look at all the several other options like parchment paper, tracing paper, or specialty photo transfer paper. Another thing people ask me is, hey, craftsman, how do I protect the image after I had did it? Pretty much the craftsman applies polyacrylic or acrylic polyurethane to everything that I do. And you can use whatever you would prefer for your protective finish. I just like me some acrylic because it's a low VOC. It ain't got the bad, the odor that you got to smell. It's a water base and it dries in about 15 minutes. In an hour time, I could be done have three, four coats on that thing. And it's good and protected. Well, that's it. I hope that you can see from this video there's so much possibility and that you could be transferring stuff all over the place. Thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos. And until next time, uh, be blessed, drink plenty of fluids, and uh, just keep steady crafting.